welcome to, I was about to say Friday Night Live. Welcome to Live Chat 2 130 with my new co-host, Miss Dawn of Dawn Aaron Loving Hansen. If you don't know who she is, please go check her out. Her link is pinned to the top of the chat and it's also in the description box. So welcome everybody. If you are here with us currently, please leave us a comment in the chat. And if you are watching the replay, hit the thumbs up and leave a comment in the comment section. So welcome, Dawn. Thank you for having me. Hi, everybody. You're very welcome. All righty, we had Sally Stevens stop in a few minutes early. We have Janet Dixon, Sharon Loves Purple. Uh, she says, just dropping in to say hi before going to her knitting group. We have Chuck on both of his channels, Dav, D-A-V expect, ex, Expeditions, <laughs> I was about to say Expectations, <laughs> and his Holistic Patriots. He says, uh, hello and Merry Christmas, everyone. Welcome in, Diana D, Ganny Joe, Sharon Loves Purple, which she's still here. Well, she says off to the knit group now. Uh, welcome in Carl and Cast. Uh, no, it's just starting. Uh, welcome in Thrift. Feeding her granddaughter. Uh, and Thrift has been a member for eight months. She says, still loving the ride. I guess she means with my favorite, Yarny Kachicken. Thank you, Thrift. Oh, and I'm watching the fifth puppy. There's some MMA match for the day. Welcome in Gwen and Adele and Julia and Anita and Jesse. Hello, everybody. Welcome in. <laughs> I thought I'd be late. Uh, I was flat ironing my hair like 15 <laughs> minutes till 12. And I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> you should let your hair go natural. Just let it go. Have fun no. with it. Really? It, it's Why? like an afro. It's like an Girl. afro whenever I don't do anything to it. <laughs> That's the new thing. It's coming back. You know how bad I wish I had I don't the like it. <laughs> You've got to do it once. It's like once. A, hey, I kind of did it yesterday on my uh, Christmas and not Christmas in July uh, birthday angels giveaway. That was like half tame. <laughs> <laughs> really? Your hair is gorgeous. Yep. I would just let it go. I'd be like, here you it's go. like a oh, bird nest. Messy bird nest is what I call it. <laughs> if I could do anything to get curls, I'd be a happy camper. My hair, I can't even hold a perm, let alone putting curls in it. It just falls right out. My hair is straight as I've, a whip. It's I like can understand that. Because <laughs> I've tried to curl my hair before, and it doesn't like with the curling iron, it don't really stay. It'll curl for a couple of seconds and then it's like, you know, it's like, I don't want to stay this way. But if I put mousse and just scrunch my hair, it'll hold better. So I need some curl. I need some life to this hair. Well, I will be soon. I'll be getting my um, box braids put in here before Christmas. I've been wanting to get them done. I found somebody. So now I'm going to get them done. Husband's like, here we go again. This crazy wife. This crazy wife. What am I doing? But that, yeah, I like I told him, you had no choice but to marry me. I had the shotgun. I chased you. You're stuck. It's 25 <laughs> years later and you're still stuck. <laughs> so, no. Y'all been married 25 years? Well, we've been together, married for 21, together for 25. And. <laughs> Yeah, when I met him, I was a bitter single mom, hating life, working. I did not want to date. I didn't even <laughs> want a boyfriend. I didn't want nothing. But no, he managed to charm me, have me fall for him, packed up and left Canada and chased his butt all the way here to California. 
and here I am. I'm still here. Aww. <laughs> so, so something must have went right. It's yeah. sweet talking. That's what it was. That sweet talk. He still does it. <laughs> well, that's a good thing, I would think. Yeah, it better be a good thing. He tells me it's because um, the reason why he's still here is he's afraid of the shotgun. You know, I carry it with me, he says, all the time. He goes, you know, even if I tried and I wanted to, you know, I, I, I don't think I'd make it far. I said, why is that? He goes, well, you do see you, you, you have a gun. I said, honey, you only wish I had a gun. You're here by <laughs> chance, by wanting to be here. He just shakes his head at me. <laughs> so that's how we are. We're goofy that way. We're crazy, but we're goofy. How was your Thanksgiving? It was good. Um, we, we originally, uh, Thanksgiving night, we watch National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. And that didn't happen, so it was the next night. Um, my aunt fell asleep. Uh, she she can't have turkey uh, because last Thanksgiving when she had turkey, she slept like thirteen hours straight oh, <laughs> wow. afterwards. Oh my gosh! Are you serious? They say turkey yeah. will not out and it does i i had just a couple yeah. bites i'm like yeah no can't do it i'll i'll sleep for the rest <laughs> of the night going to don't want to go in a coma not tonight <laughs> welcome in china um but yeah we we had a pretty good thanksgiving i helped my grandmother cook and she uh we had ham a spiral ham and then turkey and i made my green bean casserole I always love to do and some people like it some people hate it I personally like it uh helped my grandmother do the pies which they're the uh, pudding it's like chocolate pudding and pie crust and then uh, the vanilla uh pie and then we also had sugar-free bread pudding because both my my um uh, my aunt and my grandmother or diabetic so my mom made the uh, bread pudding I made oh. homemade chocolate chocolate chip cookies so double chocolate you so it's saying you were going to do it too you weren't sure and you I did. did oh my and gosh. I did it took me probably 45 minutes to measure everything out mix it up and I'm like man these are thick what is wrong it's supposed to be a little thinner than this no, but they turned out pretty good. And I followed a recipe. Everything was homemade from, you know, like all the, you know, but the only thing different was I ended up using baking soda and I was supposed to use baking powder or vice versa. Maybe it was supposed to be baking powder and I used baking soda. So, but it still worked out good. They were good. And um, let's see, my aunt, that normally comes down come down but she might come for Christmas so uh she's they're just going through stuff up up there but yeah we had a pretty good Thanksgiving but how was y'all it was good I cooked I did turkey I did corned beef ham Ooh. collard greens sweet potato casserole yams do you want me to go down the list of everything I had I made? And that's just me cooking. And there was only four of us. But each wow. one all wanted their own little thing. So my youngest, mm -hmm. he's like, no turkey, mom. I don't want turkey. You need to make a ham. So I was like, okay, fine, a ham. But my oldest boy is like turkey. And my husband's like, anything and everything, you always do like a three, four meat course every time Christmas comes or Thanksgiving. So whatever you want to make, make. So this yeah. Thanksgiving, I did all of the meats. So Christmas, I'm going to do um, Nigerian dishes, my husband's traditional dishes for Christmas mm -hmm. instead. Because I was going to do it for Thanksgiving, but I said, you know what, why? So now the kids are looking forward to me doing, and that is a couple days of uh, prepping. Prepping, I bet. Yeah. It's a lot. Everything is fresh. You make the fresh stew. You have fresh fish. You don't use no canned stuff. The tomatoes, doing this tomato stew that they have. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so good. 
I'm sitting there, I'm thinking to myself, like, I thought making my own type of like traditional dishes were a long time making, but no, mm -hmm. I'm prepping for two days. I'm soaking black eyed peas and then I got to ground it because there's a certain dish that's made with that. And I'm mm -hmm. saying, oh Lord, I'm going to be exhausted. I won't even, I'll be so tired. I won't even eat. I'll be two, doing two days of cooking. It takes two <laughs> days, if not three. Yeah. I'm like... I don't know, but it was good. I got to see my oldest boy and that was my main thing. Every time I get to see him, I'm like a kid in the candy store. I'm so excited and I'm, yeah, I want to see him. And when he comes, I'm just, okay, go spend time with your dad and your brother. And I'll, I'll call you when I want mom time. And usually when I get mom time, I get it. Awesome. Oh, a rough 30 people and a weekend long party of three. P days Thanksgiving. Oh no. Yes. Jollof rice. I do wow. make jollof rice. So you're going to, you know what, Thris, if I ever get a chance to meet you in person, I'll make you some traditional Nigerian dishes. I'll make my jollof rice and everything. It'll be fun. Welcome in like Janet and Marie and Vicki. Hi everybody. Jana is saying to you, thank you, Dawn, for the O Fire video. I love mine. That pointy tip and shorter body are a game changer. It is. I love mine. I'm look, I'm not getting no kickbacks. The only reason why I told you guys before, look, I tell you, if I get something and I love it, the product, just like with Dee's basket and her yarn and Rusty's book, I gotta put out her video. And with Mama G's yarn and I'm excited because I'm getting something from Thrift. So, I mean, when I get something I enjoy and I find that the quality is absolutely amazing, I'm going to do something, but I'm going to shout it out. Yeah, I don't have a big following, but for me, it's not about the following. It's just about mm -hmm. making the connection, you know, that long life friendship and just yeah. enjoying. What do you mean? I what am I creating you. now? <laughs> Oh God, you guys don't want to know what I'm creating now. You don't. <laughs> I've already got one almost finished. I'll have it finished. I'll do a video on it when I'm done. I'm not allowed to do anything. I already showed it on my not my live the other night, part of it, but she's got her wings on. That's all I'm going to tell you. She's got her wings on. I just got to fix a little hiccupies here and there. Don't worry. I'll Either show it's you. an angel. No, no. Angel. Either it's an angel or a fairy. <laughs> nope, those those two were already nope. been done. I was challenged to do something else. Uh, a Pegasus. No, <laughs> well, no, 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 no. <laughs> Think bigger. <laughs> Fire. That's all I'm bigger. gonna say. Oh. It's a gnome right. one. That's all I'm gonna say. It's a gnome one. You know I do different little <laughs> things with the gnomes and changing out the characters. So yeah. But I will say I am doing Aww. a sunflower one after I finish these two other gnomes. So that's all I gotta tell you guys. You guys will see it. I'll drop a video to it and show you guys. Welcome in Nancy and Denise Lee. Uh Thrith says, I love Zobo. I didn't think it would, I would because of hibiscus, but it's so yummy. It is. Thank you, Gwen. Yeah, it was great. The, that witch, I was just amazed. Oh, you amazed, literally. Now. Wait till you guys see what I got planned now. The, Let's just put it this way. I know I'm not going to have it done in time for Christmas, but you mm -hmm. guys just know that throughout the year I will be creating, like right now I am going to be getting a, my craft room done. My husband's like, I got to have you back in your craft room. No more. I, I can't handle all your stuff everywhere I look in this house. <laughs> there's you there, there, there. I'm like, honey, that's just a reminder to let you know, look, I'm still here. You're stuck with me. He's like, oh, here we go again. We're going with the stuck thing. But yeah, come the new year, um, just so you guys know, I will be getting my 3D printer up and going. And every, I, I, I'll let that sucker out now, too. That was going to be a big surprise. But yeah, the 3D printing will be the next thing that will be going on. I know you're in love with the 
witch thrift. I know you are. Don't worry. Yeah, she's going to be going to a new home here probably soon. So I'm done with her. I'm done. I'm sick of her. She wore out her welcome. <laughs> That's all I got to say. She wore out her welcome with me. <clears throat> welcome in Soila, Yolanda, Asia Joe. Uh, Yolanda, my fave. Welcome in. Oh, look, everybody is just popping in. Janet and see, I try to pick up and see everybody. And I'm like, that's why on my live, I kind of seem like a squirrel everywhere is because I was trying to read everything everybody was saying. Alex, Alex yeah. was there. I don't know if he told you he was there. No. No, he was there. He's like asking questions. All I gotta <laughs> say is, Told him to keep going, keep doing what he's doing. You, Alex, keep yeah. doing what you're doing. That's all I got to say. <laughs> I'm sure he'll pop in at some point. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome in King Morgan and Carla Gordon. Yeah, he, he, him and his mom are, they're related to me through my grandfather's brother's wife um so they're not technically blood related but i do consider them family because they were okay so my grandfather his name was jack his brother uh married a lady named glinda well lori which is alex's mom lori is glinda's like cousin or second cousin something like that so it's like there's not really a relation but it's you know i i i take them as my cousins so girl i'm gonna tell you i don't care if you're blood or not when you're in the family you're in yeah. the family that's the one thing i've always yeah. looked at it doesn't matter marriage or not even a long time friendship is still family yeah welcome in cam <coughs> Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Vicky. I hope your tummy feels better. Oh, Oodles. I didn't know her name was Vicky. I I just always went with Oodles. Hey, Oodles. <laughs> and beautiful Zoila. Who can uh, not love Zoila? Yes. Okay. And then too old to care. Her name is Nancy. Okay, good. Now I'm I'm learning everybody. So you guys, please. I'm sorry. I am. I'm not the greatest with names, so I'm gonna let you know. If I just still go by your guys' screen name, I'm sorry. I'm slowly getting to know you guys, so it just, just takes some time. Don't worry about yes. it. I mean, I used to have a cheat sheet. Honestly, I Did I you? had a cheat sheet with like say oodles and caboodles of crafts. I'd have Vicky next to it. You know, so I mean, it for a very long time I had a cheat sheet, and eventually I remembered certain people's names <laughs> over time. Okay, well I'm gonna have to do that then. Thank <laughs> you for telling me, because now I'm gonna do a cheat sheet <laughs> so I can remember everybody. <laughs> <laughs> what have you been working on? Um. Well, I I did uh, get an order for some crochet hooks from Denise. I made her two hooks. I'm actually sitting looking at them over there. Um, they're by tonight. They'll be ready to be packaged up and shipped out tomorrow. Um, Melanie with uh, Lathalia's little hook also placed a, a crochet hook order, so I made her one. Um, and I've kind of took a page from your book and tried making some little stuff. Uh, I don't want to give it away in case. Uh, a certain someone is here. Um, I haven't seen her in the chat yet. Send me a huh? picture and I can give you some, like, I will. We, I'll work with you on it. I will. Me too. <laughs> but, uh, okay, so there's a certain someone, and if she is here, she'll know I'm talking about her, but she won't know what they are. Uh, Katie's been yarnified, loves miniatures. And I've been trying to make little bitty things for her for Christmas out of clay. 
she won't know what it is until she gets it. But I've been kind of, like I said, taking a page from your book and kind of trying to make little things other than just the clay hook or my little cat stitch markers I make. So I'm, I'm very excited. One turned out super cute. I'm just excited very, very, very much. <laughs> I, th I find this small. So I did that. Girl, you know what? I'm glad you can do a small. Me doing those small ones. I start off small. <laughs> I don't know what I do. <laughs> but then they start growing. I'm like, okay, this is not normal. Yeah. You're, you're supposed to stay small. I think the only people that got <laughs> the really small ones that I made, I made a really small gnome. I made a small, really small snowman. He was probably this big. And it was actually Thris because she loves her snowmans. And I gifted it to her because I wanted to surprise her. I didn't think I was mm -hmm. going to be emotional. I'm sorry, Thris. You know me. My goal is to make you guys all cry, but happy tears. Not bad tears. Happy tears. So... Mm -hmm. she got one of them there's a couple other people that got the small ones but they are hard i'm telling you sitting there i'm like this i'm like look i got look for a girl i got long hands you know and it makes it difficult and i'm always like mm -mm, i just can't do the small stuff i don't even like doing the small detail on the stuff that i do now because i'm like knocking things off and crushing it i'm like forget it i i just give up so now i'm like, <laughs> like little things of picking it up and trying to place it all on. I was like, Oh, this is, this is crazy. I can't do yeah. it. I want to see though. Promise me I get to see. Um, once we end the live, I will show you yes. once it's over, just stick around. Don't leave. And I'll show you. Oh, I won't go anywhere. I, I'm, uh, you're stuck with me then. You're just stuck with me. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, we have a few new just come in. We have Melanie J. And um, yes, Jesse, you are on the list. Um, the other, like, I don't know, a couple weeks back, uh, she had changed her name from Jesse the Crafty Gypsy to the Crafty Gypsy. She goes, how did you remember it was me? I go, well, I just kind of took a guess. You know, the Crafty Gypsy was in her name before. So I just figured she dropped that and, you know. <laughs> but uh it was at first and then welcome in wriggles is she what i have a package in the mail thris oh boy oh thris i just gotta say something with what we were discussing just know that there's going to be a little extra that's all i gotta say a little extra so just keep that in your ear in your mind a food for thought so when you do receive, there'll be a little extra, but we'll finish talking about that. And you guys know I'm terrible for that. I like to start throwing stuff in. I'm trying to be good because everyone's getting on me about it and saying, Dawn, stop. But I can't. I can't help it. Yeah, sometimes it is hard to, to not add in extras. And Zoila got got hit by night bot <laughs> oh she goes crystal i had a cheat sheet too uh <laughs> thank you thris i'm glad you like my hooks you do have beautiful uh, hooks thank you <laughs> um gwen had surgery on her right hand on friday she goes i'm going oh. crazy because i can't craft at all oh no i'm guessing it was um carpal tunnel surgery because i think that that's the only thing i know that they do on the hand yeah. so hopefully hopefully uh everything is okay and works out great and hopefully you don't have any more problems oh yeah the carpal tunnel surgery i had both hands done and i'm supposed to go back again to get it done but the feeling of having it done and your finger swelling up bigger than sausages no i'm good i i if it's going to take me yeah. a commission I'm not doing it. Nope. That's so weird. I just got an ad in the middle of my my line. <laughs> Did you really? Yes. I was like, wait a minute. I, I was afraid my my live had ended and I'm like looking at my phone. No, it still says live and it's still counting, but they just put an ad in the middle of the live. I hate okay. it when they do that. <laughs> 
<laughs> I've never had that happen before. <laughs> and I've watched from my laptop most of the time. And I'm just like, I'm freaking out thinking, oh, my God, my life just ended. <laughs> Oh, no. I would be freaking out, too. Well, it couldn't have been bad like mine on Friday where the power went out. I was like, that. I was telling everybody, hold on. And I went to go. I didn't want everyone knowing that I was actually panicking, running, looking for cable, the plugging for my phone. I thought I had it plugged in. Everything uh -huh. just went dead. Laptop, everything. I was like, oh, my gosh, I should have known better and made sure everything was plugged in. Well, I plugged in the lamp and thought mm -hmm. I plugged it in the laptop. <laughs> so everything oh. went oh god i was like great gotta start over again i don't know if i want to skinny joe is back she said granddaughter is fed and down for her nap now i have to keep ava quiet i think is what she meant <laughs> <laughs> i just jumped oops isn't it hard keeping track of the chat? Oh, it drives me crazy trying to. Not, not too bad. I mean, it says there's only 30 here. So, I mean, not, not too bad. Now, if I had like 90 people, yes. Even 60, it's kind of hard to keep track. So, but not, not when it's about 30. Wow. Melanie Jenner's tours also. Welcome in, Gail Chris, Christman and Jessica Johnson. Yay. Man, it deleted a lot of messages from from Zoila. What really? Nightbots being yes. bad. <laughs> I forgot to turn mine on. I don't even know how to turn them back on when I did my. Um, that one sale that night. I, now I don't know how to uh -huh. turn them back on. <laughs> so I don't have Nightbot and nobody drop links. Okay, so what you do, either one or two things happened. You deleted him as a mod in um, YouTube Studio or you disconnected it, uh, Nightbot from your account, like signed out of Nightbot. So no, I got to get him back. I need him. It, it it's an easy fix oh yes zoya i understand it's night because bot. zoya talked mm -hmm. huh no she was saying her and night but are toxic and i said yeah i understand that's why i try <laughs> to tell him sweet nothing so he can love me for a little bit <laughs> yeah um it's because she typed in all caps in one of the comments so <laughs> um Kim G says, I found the unforgettable yarn that I needed to finish the Bella Shawl kit. Now I have to wait for delivery. I'm glad you found it. Aw, thank you, Ganey Joe. Okay, my headphones are in the way. <laughs> Zoila, just tell him you love him. Night butt will eventually come back to you. And you know, my my night butt, he likes to flirt with all you ladies. I don't know what his problem is, but <laughs> when you're not flirting back, he gets a little saucy and irritated. And then you just gotta offer him a Snickers bar. That's all. <laughs> Thank you, Zoila. I'm glad you love yours too. I can't wait to see the new hooks that you are making. I am so excited. Now I've got little uh, gingerbread stitch markers that I made, gingerbread man ones. They're like Aww. big, but then I started giving them away and I got like <laughs> two left so that I can look at it because I made the beads for it and it had the mistletoe that I did on the beads mm -hmm. and then it had you know, them with their bow tie and everything like that. Yes, Yolanda, Snickers bar for night, but. Mm -hmm. Asia Joe got an ad too. I'm glad it wasn't just me. <laughs> I've, I've had never had that happen ever since I've been going live from my phone. I watch YouTube on my laptop because I can't see the chat on my phone. Now I can't see the chat at all because of 
it's restream and you have to pull up a separate tab for the chat but i can still only see like <laughs> two comments on on that thing so i watch from my laptop um but uh yeah it's weird welcome in debbie d ferguson the lefty crocheter oh marie got an ad too oh gee i don't even because i got you on my laptop but i didn't uh do my because i usually try and do that as well sally uh steven says i had my thumb joint replaced on each hand arthritis wow wow that must have when, been painful when says yeah i would think it would be <laughs> um the pain i had before the surgery was causing me days of severe pain and no cracking so i had to do the surgery well that's understandable and hopefully there's no more pain Welcome in, Angela Wright. Chuck saying, I hate a night bot. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anybody in our community that's here in California? I know I had met someone. She, was, she used to live in Sacramento. I, I got nobody. Oh, you guys are so close. I'm so jelly of all of you guys being so close to each other, like a day trip or something. And I'm sitting in like, why is it everybody I meet is on the East Coast? East Coast. You guys are killing me. Why can't you come over here? Uh, well, Dana's Wonderlust crochet is in Oregon or I somewhere over there. Yeah, she's passing through. She's going to be passing through California, but just not in that area where I'm at. Because I was like, I seen her this morning and I did a, I quickly popped into her live and I was like, as soon as she said she was going to be going through California, I was like, what? Are you passing by my area? Because if you are, we can do coffee. And she's like, sorry, yeah. but I'm going near Sacramento. I was like, why? Why is you guys avoiding Sacramento? Come on, come to Sacramento. <laughs> Whether it's for an hour or two, let's go for coffee, let's hang out. But no, nobody likes Sacramento. I don't even like it, but <laughs> I didn't say that. Welcome in Diana Crane and Darcia White. <gasps> Yolanda, um, you're Asia. Uh, Asia Joe is say, is asking, uh, well, she goes, I asked this to another live earlier, but does anyone bake or make Christmas treats to give as gifts? Yeah. I have in the past. I haven't done it recently. Yep. With neighbors and stuff like that. Yep. Especially if you know if there is certain um, cookies that they had, a, like childhood cookies. That's the one thing I learned as... Um, with some of my neighbors, we would give them like maybe a gift card with it, but we would, mm -hmm. um, I would find out their favorite childhood cookies and I would try and replicate that and give it to them, you know, for Christmas mm -hmm. along with a card and gift card. I think it's great. I love it. Look, by all means, I love my food. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I am a, a woman for food. I love food. <laughs> I shouldn't say too much. So if you brought me cookies, Oh, I'd be tickled pink. I'd be sitting there eating it. I wouldn't even wait. I would probably have it all cleaned out. And I will tell you, C's chocolate is a nightmare for me because my husband bought me five pounds of it one time. <laughs> Take how long it took wow. me to finish up that five pounds of chocolate. Two weeks. Day, quick. <laughs> Day and a half. <laughs> I was bad. I love chocolate. I'm bad. Yeah. I'm bad. I love chocolate. And then he come to ask for a piece. And I said, what chocolate? Well, the chocolate mm -hmm. that you got for your anniversary. And I said, I, I did not even see a box. He goes, you mean the box I see with all the wrappers in it? Oh, that was there for a while. You know, I don't know what you're talking about. I must have, no, that, that's nothing. 
don't see nothing. So I took it and threw it in the garbage. She was like, I can't believe you finished that in a day and a half. <laughs> don't put chocolate near me and you'll see what happens. I devour it. Welcome in, um, Grandma Wanda. Chuck is in Texas and he's in Dallas. And let's see, Gwen is in Arkansas. Yolanda's in Montana. Wow. Uh, Jessica says, I wish it's cold and I got a foot of snow. Wow, snow already. I miss snow. I'll be honest with you. I miss the snow like you would not believe. I, oh, if I can get snow, I'd go, I'd be a happy camper. I'll go cross country skiing. I'd do it all. I literally go and dive into <laughs> a snow because I miss the snow so much. Yeah. Carla says, I'm in the Midwest in the middle of nowhere. Kim oh, says nice. it is way more than a day trip for most of us. All right, just jump again. Yeah, I'm seeing everybody. It's like it, it pops in like three or four at a time. I'm like, what? I'm trying to follow everybody. Thurst don't, uh, she pretends her kitchen doesn't exist. Welcome back, <laughs> Dorothea. Diana D is in Illinois. Wow. Why don't you guys? Well, Chuck I... likes co chocolate covered cherries. Those. And so do I. <laughs> those are good. What are mm -hmm. you doing? Tonight? I even had a coconut. Uh, like the, instead of the cherry filling around the cherry, um, it was like a coconut flavored filling around the cherry. Oh, oh there is this Those one. Those were pretty good. You know what? If I can get it, um, I'll, I'll talk to family back home. But if I can get this in, if you like cherry. So there is this one chocolate type of treat that we have um, back home. And mm -hmm. it's like probably about that size. It's chocolate and it's got, I don't know what mixed in with the chocolate, but in the center is cherry filling with a cherry. And that thing is oh. the bomb. So what I'm going to do, I'll, I'll tell, okay, this is what I'll do. I'll put in my order from family back home in Canada. I'll have them ship me a bunch of goodies. And then whoever has not had any type of Canadian chocolate bars or candies i will start when i when people order and stuff i'm going to start sending some of it up to people let them try different things Aww, well. you sweet. guys gotta try it i'm just not giving up my ketchup chips my all dressed chips <laughs> those i'm not giving up. <laughs> they're mine but everything else i'll let you guys try the candies and the chocolate Wow. Nancy says, I made chocolate fudge, peanut butter fudge, sugar cookies, shortbread cookies, molasses cookies, homemade white bread, banana bread, and cranberry walnut bread. Hold on. Are you from Canada? Because if you say molasses cookies or molasses buns, that's a Canadian thing. I'm telling you right now, because we make these molasses buns or molasses cookies. Oh my gosh. They are so good. Huh. <laughs> Janet goes, when I was stationed overseas, always asked my mother for a care package of homemade treats. She always sent a sweater. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome in Bridget of Queen's Crafts. How you doing? Uh, Diana D says, uh, we used to make all the sweets for Christmas, but haven't the last couple of years. Oh, really? And if anybody sees 
um, Jen's Hobby Nook, she won Pin Leanne's giveaway. Oh, congratulations. Yeah, congrats, Jen. Theresa is in Metro Detroit. There's Katie. Hi, Katie. Welcome in. Man, it just jumped. Let's see. She says, hi, my lovelies. I am here, but will probably be quiet. I'm, oh, I think she's sick and don't know how to do anything but whine, moan, and cry right now. Sending love to you all. I hope you feel better soon, Katie. Oh, I'm sorry, sweetheart. Uh, Adele just, is in Texas currently, born and raised in in in. Wow! Just so you guys know, come the new year, I will have a certain Yarny sister that's going to be coming to visit about February March, and we are planning a trip to visit other. I'm not going to say anybody yet because I want to try and surprise by showing, I guess, basically showing up in that town and just mm. surprise them probably the night before and tell them like, Hey, you want to meet and see how they react. But also I'm going to be spending mm -hmm. three months out of the year on East coast. That's all I'm going to tell you guys the East coast. Uh -huh. So I may be seeing some of you guys. I don't know. I'll be either Canada or East Coast. I don't know, South Carolina. Mm -hmm. Few other places over there, North Carolina. So we'll see. Bridget uh, in South Carolina, but originally from Wisconsin. Jessica Johnson is near Erie, Pennsylvania. Wow. I have family in Pennsylvania, actually, and I didn't know it. My great aunt, she had passed away from breast cancer years ago. Oh, actually, it's been a long time now. Mm -hmm. And I have cousins there. I don't even know. I want to meet them, but I don't. Even, I can't even track them down. I'm trying to figure out their last name. Mm -hmm. That's the only thing I say. I just trying to figure out their last name just so I can figure out where they are and then I can plan a trip to Pennsylvania to see them. Oh, yum cookies. Nancy is in central Michigan and she says cold, but only a dusting of snow. Grandma Wanda says snowed like crazy last night. Wow. Carla's in Illinois. Bourbon chocolates are yummy, says Chuck. Yeah, I don't know about that. I mean, I've never had bourbon chocolates. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, snickerdoodles, cowboy cookies. Oh, talking about all this is making me want to go in the kitchen. I don't got time right now to make anything. Mm -hmm. Z lives in California, and so does Darn Yarn Doll. Yeah, she's Mara a from Mindfully Crochet. There's quite a few people from California, Adele says. I know that Dawn Yarn Doll is South, San Francisco area, and Margie is, is it San Diego? Somewhere around there, but I didn't know about. Those are the only two that I had known about. Oh, now I know. I wish someone was closer. Welcome in, Brenda Bear. Experiment candy canes. Have them every year in the South and nobody sells them or heard of them here. Maybe you could find them online, Thuris. Actually, I know I can get them from back home from my dad. Maybe I should ask. No, while we're here, I'm going to send a message to my dad and say, hey, dad, I'm putting in an order for cookies or goodies to be shipped. Could you do it? 
I'm so wrong. I shouldn't be doing it, but I do. Every year I get a big box, huge box stuffed, even like maple syrup. Ooh, chocolate. No, I haven't. Uh, uh, Diana D. Marie uh, Simpson is in Connecticut. Hi, Lulu. Welcome in, Cindy. Are you going to do a video? Oh, New Mexico. Oh, okay. New Mexico. Are you going to do a video of your new um, hooks? Or are you going to wait till you uh, shut them out? I, I'm, I'm going to take... If I can remember, because the last uh, order that I shipped out, I never took a picture of, and I usually try to take a picture just for myself um, or to put on Instagram. And the last, I think, two that I made before these, I forgot to take pictures of. So I need to take a picture of these, and um, I might end up sharing them on Instagram is what I'm getting at. So. Oh, I haven't posted my hooks on Instagram in a while. <laughs> yeah, people are telling me to do Instagram, but I don't look. You know, it took me till this year to do Facebook. I've never had <laughs> <laughs> no, I kept saying no, I don't want social media. Now I got Facebook, yeah. and now I have to change the name over to my channel name. <laughs> And now they're telling me I need to get Instagram. I'm like, I don't want that. You can set it up as a business. I don't like social media a whole lot. I like struggle with it. Now, is it good to have from your experience? Uh, well, Instagram is my personal Instagram. Okay. And I keep it set to private. Otherwise, I get all these people that I don't know trying to follow me and half of them are spammers or scammers or trolls or whatever. And I'm like, I don't want you following me. So they have to send me a request. <laughs> and if I don't recognize their name, I don't approve it. Wow. So, I mean, I just, it's like, say a uh, thrift, you know, sends me an invite. I know her name. But if it's spelled funny or, you know, I'm already friends with her and I get a new request, then I know it's somebody pretending to be her. So, you know, I would email her and say, hey, I was on Instagram. Did you send me a friend's request? And if she says no, then I report that person as, you know, pretending to be somebody else. So well, that's good. I'm still I, I was like, I can't do it. I just can't do it. Like I'm not even very active on Facebook and everyone's been yeah, phenomenal. Like, you. you need to start posting more. I'm like, you know, I'm too busy to post right now. I got too much going on to post. I don't even think about posting. So when I did the witch, they were like, okay, now you can post it. Oh, now you need to do the video with the lights out to show her lit up. I'm like, this is too much work. Mm -hmm. I need someone to be doing this for me while I just do all the creations. That's all I want to do is create. I don't want to have to sit there and do videos. And, but I guess, yeah. like they said, that's what comes with it. And I'm like, Oh, lovely. Just It, it kind of does. I mean, I forget sometimes about my Facebook group that I have. Um, I'll check it maybe once a week, but I usually get email notifications. Say if there's somebody that, that uh, new that joins, I'll get an email and I'll go and check it. Or uh, I get email notifications saying somebody commented on your post or anyway, et cetera, et cetera. And so I'll go and check. But half the time I have a messenger tab open and half the time I forget to even check that. I just leave it open. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't really, I haven't posted on Instagram in a very long time. I hardly ever do anything on my personal Facebook page. Uh, I'm more paying attention to my YouTube stuff 
you know, creating videos. Sometimes I might remember to share a video into my Facebook group, and half the time I forget about that. So, um, welcome in Kirsten Amstat and Janet Bales. And anyone else that may be new that I haven't got to yet, welcome in. Um, let's see. Sorry, I'm just watching the cat because he was getting ready to come at me. <laughs> <laughs> this cat is my nemesis. He's driving me crazy. Um, a fingering weight is compared to like a two weight. Yeah, here. I'll show you. Because I got I got my yarn here. I'm actually getting ready to, but Sorry if my hands are dirty. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. They're stained with dye. <laughs> wow. Eight inches in uh, Cleveland. Now I did a new color, two new color waves. So I bought it blue. I tell you, I was not happy. Blue, blue, and trying to get the right blues and having them blend is not fun. Yeah. Oh, I just jumped again. I have a question. Let's see. The painting mm -hmm. of the chicken behind you, did you make that? No, no, no. I bought it. Oh, did you? Yeah, I found it at Dollar General on sale, and I absolutely, I saw it. I was like, oh, my God, I got to have it. Look at that chicken. Herring glasses. <laughs> it was, like, originally $5, and then I found it for, like, two fifty, I think, or 3 It was, like, discounted slightly, and I'm like, it's the only one it's meant to be. I got to get it. <laughs> I like it. And are those your creations in the background? Sorry, I know yeah, I well, like except the for, things that they make. Except for this chicken leaning here. Um, Dee made me that. And this what? snowman is Queen Mama Anita's um, snowman design. I just helped test the pattern. And then my two little spiders. And my design, uh, Sunny, the happy hen. It's yours? Yeah. Oh, I love it. Do you have a pattern? Yeah, it's in uh, Ravelry. Okay, well, I'll be purchasing it because I know someone who loves chickens. <laughs> and can I see your spider? Yeah. And are you doing that one in um, Ravelry too? No, I haven't typed it up yet, but I will eventually. Now, it's a little wonky because this one was outside during Halloween, uh, during October. So it's like they're kind of. <laughs> Hanging and funny. Um, but oh my gosh. yeah. So how long did and it then that's the, the hanger. I like that. How long did it take you to come up with the design and the pattern? Uh about three three or four days to crochet the whole thing. Um actually, no, 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 no. It took maybe a week. I know it took three or four days just to crochet all eight legs. And I designed it first with the black spider. And then when I did the crochet along, I made the orange one. Wow. So, you did great. Thank you. I sat and thought about it for a very long time before I actually... It's, it's like once I get the idea in my head... And I start thinking of how I can do the body or do I make it one piece? Do I make it separate? How do I make the legs bend? Once I kind of figure it out all in, all in my head, then the problem is to transfer it from my head, how I see it envisioned here into paper, into crocheted. So sometimes it works out just like planned, sometimes it's a little frogging, you know, and scratching out my notes and retrying. 
Um, it's it was fairly easy up until the fangs. I ripped out the fangs and started over. I think three different times before I finally figured out how I wanted to do them. So that uh, usually my designs kind of come uh, almost as if somebody is giving me the instructions. Like I'm almost channeling the energy of it. That's I don't know how to. No, I know. <laughs> Trust me, I get it because it's the same thing with me. I, I'm the same way when it comes to creating any of the, the stuff that I sculpt, I paint, even just mm -hmm. dying yarn. It's, it's talking to you, not you trying to force something. It's just, yeah. it comes. And once it starts flowing it flows. in, <laughs> yes, it flows, really flows. And you're like, okay, well, this is getting easier and easier and you just keep going. So no, I get it. I definitely understand what you're saying. Been there. So <laughs> I definitely know. They are beautiful. I love them. I can't wait because I definitely need that chicken pattern. I got to go get it now. I also have um, my very first Amigurumi design was uh, Pink Ski the Cat, which is kind of sitting over there. I can't really get to it. Um, and then I also have a goat. Her name is Nellie the Nubian. Oh. Um, we had goats in the mid to late 90s. And I used to have this little goat named Draco because my favorite movie was Dragonheart at the time. And so I kind of named it. Okay, so when I heard the name on the movie, it's actually Drago, you know, but or Draco. But I named my goat Drago, Geo, instead of Theo, because that's what I had thought his name was at the time, you know. So, <laughs> but he, um, when he was born, uh, it, there was there were their siblings, but the mama goat didn't. He he wasn't nursing, so ended up. Um, we had some friends that lived around the corner, and they raised goats. They got him bottle fed and got him strong. And about a week or so after that, we ended up getting him back. Had to feed him on a bottle, and ended up the mama didn't want nothing to do with him, so we had to bottle feed him and. He kind of became my pet. He followed me around the yard. I could let him out of the pen. He'd stay right there with me like a little dog. Um, if I'd lay down, he tried to lay on my stomach. Uh, there was one time I was in fourth grade. I took him to show and tell. My grandfather uh, fed him a bottle and he peed all over the floor. <laughs> oh, no. Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> But he ended up uh, only living to about four months old. He ended up getting pneumonia and passed away. But he was cute as could be. He was black and he had white spotted ears. He had two oh. little brown strips on his ha head. He was debutted. So he had no horn, just little nub horns. And he oh. had like a white little snout uh, circle on the end. He he had brown and white, but he was mostly black. But oh. he was the sweetest little goat. And I could actually say, uh, you know, call for him, and he would come to the gate. It was oh. it was it was awesome. And I so want goats again, but we have to have a pen. We have to you know, get a shelter built and, and all the stuff that comes with going, going with the goat. Um, they'll need shots all the time, medicine every month, feed, you know, besides the grass. And it's just a lot of prep. And I don't know if I'll get one, but I would love one. But our neighbors behind us actually put some goats back there. So I get to see them through the fence oh. and I can actually go and pet them if I want. So I get to, I get to observe. <laughs> that would be awesome. Yeah. Um, no, I'm not doing a new style thrift. Uh, welcome in Barry. 
Yep, Bridget says Instagram is full of scammers. That's why oh. mine is private, and if I don't know you, I don't approve it. So let's see. I've got to get caught up. Sorry, I like distracting. No, no, me no, like you're okay. You're all right. Uh, so I don't do Facebook book either. Yolanda rarely gets on Facebook. What are you under Ravelry? Um, it should be in my description box. Okay. Uh, the link to my Ravelry store. Uh, let's see. It says my patterns are available in my Ravelry store. The link is here. And so if you click on that, it says Ravelry.com slash designers. I'm, I'm by my, my real name, Crystal Walker. Oh, perfect. Okay. Well, you know me. I'm, uh. I'm already headed over there. <laughs> I'm just starting. Shh, I don't always do that. Sally got an ad and so did Marie. Wow. Gee, and not liking us today. I know. That's so weird. Oh. They started putting ads in the middle of the live. Usually it's, it's before and after. Yeah. No, they're starting uh, to spam it. I, I was in Granny D's and had three. Within a five minute span, I was like, what is going on? Why why am I getting all of this? Wow. Yeah. Oh, I love your patterns. I agree, Barry. Uh, too much social media is bad for your health. It is. Oh, your goat is so cute. Oh, thank you. I do. I was going to design a turtle uh, months and months ago and I started and I did not like how the shell came out and it was like not laying flat or it was wonky or it was like I said, eh, I'm going to take a break from trying to design the turtle. I'll, I'll do a different uh, thing. And I think that's about the time when there was you something I was do doing. You, you I will eventually. To. <laughs> welcome oh. in jen i'm pretty sure i'm still getting caught up with the chat but i'm pretty sure somebody told you the, that you won sorry everybody i'm distracting her i'm always a chatterbox and i like <laughs> asking questions and learning more about people let's see All right, why don't you talk for a minute? I'm gonna start reading a little bit, I guess, or or maybe answer questions or, oh. you know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Well, I can, I guess, I might as well just take you guys for a walk. Cause like right now, yeah, I'm working on slippers. I do crochet, so you guys know I do crochet. I don't just sculpt, I do crochet. I just don't show the stuff that I crochet. I'm I'm starting to slowly, slowly, very slowly. Um, I don't know. I did new colorway of blue, and then I guess you guys already seen the other colorway, uh, Montana Mountains. So those are the two two colorways I've got going on. Um, I'll take you guys for a walk over to the kitchen and show you guys yes the dry and i might as well just give in i'm i'm the sucker for you guys i always got to show you guys everything uh, <laughs> um i just want to say uh to barry tell the crafty halo angela hello so i had a little hiccup with her and that's why i didn't want to show you guys i'm not done She's got her tail. Uh, one of her, some of her things fell off, so I got to put it back on. I still got a glazer. I still got to finish the horns and do her wow. little. So there, you guys see, that's the color of her. If you see the, so you see the cracks right there. So I got to fix them there. You guys see my hiccupies, but that's her. That's beautiful. So there's that. I don't know. 
Well, you guys already seen the witch. She's going to a new home. So I'm going to finish off the little ceiling on the bottom, make sure she's go over her, make sure she's perfect. And you guys know all of them always start off like this. So here's the green one of it. And then you guys know all of my buttons. It's all, I've got a bunch of those mm -hmm. already started. The alien ones. And hold on. There's that alien. Oh, I was supposed to grab a Frankenstein and I didn't. I still just got to seal them, but I'm trying to get rid of everything. So you guys will see everything. And then the rose. So yes, I am creating, creating, and creating. I just showed you guys that. I didn't want to show you guys anymore, but I don't know. Gray, blue, purple dragon. Yeah, she's um got a pearl, a mirror. So what I mixed in with it gives it that mirror um, for that purple kind of weird, I don't know how to explain, but it was something that I mixed in with the clay and then put on before I baked her. And she will end up um, staying like that once I seal her as well. She may lay, lighten up a little bit off of it, but overall, the way she looks, she'll be a lot like that. And there'll be a few little changes of her. And then you guys know when I was doing breast cancer, I was making the little clay boxing gloves. And then, oh, here you go. I will we'll show you Aww. there. Now Thank you guys can you. see the little stitch marker. Aww. So, there he is. And there'll be a little girl. So I was going to start making those for, oh, there it is. The one that is complete with the bead that I made. So the bead has the mistletoe on it. So there you guys go. So those are the things I've been messing around with, having fun with. And you guys don't want to see How the How do you here. get the metal to stay in, in the clay? I will share that with you later. I'll give you some of my tips and tricks. Okay. <laughs> you can't keep tell everybody uh, you know on a lie <laughs> once you give away all your secrets and your little stuff then everybody is going to know how to do it there's a bunch of yeah, different ways that's true. Do it. yeah so no there's different ways that i do it i have fun with it um but those are the things that i have right now oh someone was asking if someone um had purchased her sorry you guys are going to see me all messy and stuff i'm in my work clothes today see look so I don't even worry. Um, oh, you're wearing the pink boxing gloves right hoodie right now. Yeah, so I am thinking of a design actually for a cardigan for different um, things. You want a pair of what, Diana? Diana, you got my info. You got my phone number. You've got everything. So you know how to reach me. So don't even say it there. Reach me, tell me, and call me. I don't care. But no, I have a few things that I, I'm going to design and I will give you some of my tricks as to what I did that helped me keep them all in place with the metal in the clay and all of that. So it's not hard. Like those wings, I had another plan for them, but this is a new type of clay that I was working with. And it didn't do what I want it to do, but it's all right because you know what? Everything you create, like I said the other night, hiccups, when you have those, I call them the hiccups, not mistakes, hiccups in things that you design <laughs> are usually your best yeah. creations. Like you wouldn't believe with her, she put me, that's why I wanted her gone. I don't even want to look at that witch right now. She had <laughs> gave me a run for my money and I was mad, mad, mad. <laughs> oh, don't believe what? Um, a second. No, no, I can't. I'm going to have to look on Amazon for those dill pickle candy canes. I love dill pickle. 
Really? <laughs> yep. I'd be willing to try them. Uh, thank you, Vicki, for your super. I think you're already gone. Bye to Barry. And yes, I did see your comment about uh, the the new channel. Angela said hello. Um, you know what? I so this one is for Vicki. Thank you. Something. Debbie can't wait till the next cow. I'm I'm planning on a Easter one uh, for my uh, rabbit or bunny um, Flopsy. So hopefully that'll go according to plan. <laughs> I think Diana, she wants to know, is this something we're going to be doing more often? Yeah, I am going to be here the fourth. Tuesday, the Tuesday. yeah, Tuesday of every month, I will be here. If mm -hmm. she says, "Come on now," I'll jump on with her in a heartbeat. She already knows that. I already told her I'll be committed to her. Jed's no worries. So, yeah, you guys will probably see. Welcome in, Tammy Twyford. Hmm. Yes, you'll you'll. I was just saying, welcome Tammy Twyford. Yes, she has joined my monthly lineup, so she is going to be here every fourth Tuesday. The time might end up changing sometimes, but if for some reason we have to reschedule, then she'll be on a different day. Mm -hmm. So, so you guys are going to be dealing with me a lot more now. Unfortunately, I feel sorry for you guys. <laughs> I'm only joking. Oh, I'll just say that. <laughs> oh, you want me to oh, hold up the witch again? Hold on, I'll take you guys again. Let me unplug you before I. I don't want no hiccups. Don't even sauce me, cat. No. I have to be careful because sometimes when I walk by him, he's not nice. He looks at me like I'm a meal. I'm not a meal. Do I look like a meal for an animal? No. You guys wanted to see her again, so. This is her. Yes, she lights up. Hold on. You got an on and on, on and off switch. So yeah, this is her. I'm just going to add a couple pieces onto her in a few places. And every piece is individually done. So even like in the cauldron, this is individually done. Pieces here added in the flames, the wood, and then even making the bellow each piece. And if you look closely, you'll see like how they did the nails back then, those are all individually done. So every layer on here is individually done. Her face, wow. her, if you look closely, oh, I almost threw her at you guys. Her, if you look closely like her eyeliner, that is not painted. That is actually clay, even with her eyebrows, her hair. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's her. And she is going to a new home. So yes, she's finally, I finally booted her out. She's gone now. She's got eviction notice. Um, Darcia wants to know how much the gingerbread stitch marker is. Um, it depends on how many you get. Um, best thing to do is just reach out to me. And um, I'm pretty good with working with people. So um, just reach out to me and... Whatever you guys, uh, however many you want done, I can do it. That's probably the best thing to do. Because, look, I'll be honest with you guys. People know me. It is hard to always price things because I'm always worried that I'm overpricing or if I'm underpricing. And my biggest fear is I don't want people to think that I feel that I think my stuff is worth, you know, gold or a diamond or something. And I don't look at it that way. I'm new to it. I'm nervous. I don't know what to put down for price points. But I am learning. So you guys, please bear with me. I'm always hesitant to talk about pricing. I'm not, I'm, I've never been comfortable with it. So I'll be honest with you guys. How's that sound? Is that a good enough answer? <laughs> I hope so. Well, how do you feel, Crystal? If someone asks you pricing on your work. It's kind of hard 
you know, like, just an example, Melanie wanted to buy one of my little drawstring bags. And I'm like, I don't even know where to start. You know, it took me about an hour to make it. The materials cost this much. Uh, this costs this much. And I'm like, and I just, you know, I went, I, I couldn't figure it up for myself. And so I asked my grandmother for her input. And she goes, well, how about this price? And I go, that seems fair. So, I mean, I usually just ask my grandmother, but usually what it is, is you take your cost of the materials and then you add it all up. If it's like half price, you know, or like say you only, say you buy a little block of clay for $2, but you only use a fourth of it, that would be like 50 cents. So you yep. say 50 cents for that and say the hook costs two dollars and fifty cents. So that would be three dollars for material plus your time and the shipping and and you think you know like uh, my my hooks three hooks can take about two hours to do because I gotta mold the clay, soften it, mold it around the hooks. And then, yeah. you know, smooth it out, out and then put the oven, bake 20 minutes, let it cool. Once it cooled, paint whatever I need to paint on there. And then it takes two, two days to put three sure. coats of glaze. And then, you know, it's time consuming. But it's also, you know, like you're you're also paying for the time that i'm taking to glaze them and everything else you know it's but my hooks i'd i could probably sell them for more but i don't want to i'd rather yeah. people be able to get a nice hook for an affordable price i know i'm probably undercharging but i don't care it's not like i'm wanting to make my money back on the materials of bought you know, I, I buy hooks in bundles that has one of every size and I stock up. So like if I buy a pack of 14 sizes for $3, I technically get the hooks for nothing. I can lower my price. Yeah. Um, and, and that's not always the case, but yeah. when I estimate, you know, the price of the hook, the price of the clay, the shipping cost, and my time, I'm losing money, but I don't care. I enjoy yeah. making them, and I like doing it that they can use something handmade. It's not perfect, but I try to make it as good as I can. Exactly. And so, so I'd yeah. rather, you know, make, make sure smile. they're happy with their product. Yeah. And that's the thing, because in order for me to even like really, really get the pricing on the witch was hard due to the fact mm -hmm. like I went on to Etsy and the witches I pulled up are nothing like her. They're smaller, yeah. some are the same size, but they have cloth on it. She has no, nothing else on her, but polymer clay. And that's the thing, like some of them, some of the witches I've seen that was on Etsy, look, whoever is the creators, I'm sorry, this is just my opinion, but I felt for $150 just for the figure that don't light up, that doesn't even, you know, hold anything, mm -hmm. you're charging $150. Well, mine lights up. Yeah. She is, just her alone is over nine inches. So imagine all of that mm -hmm. clay, her hair is done individually, along with the hat was made, her face is separate, her eyes are yeah. separate. So going through all of that, and they're charging $150, and I'm thinking, well, my gosh, mine lights up, she holds crochet hooks. And yeah. I feel even though I, the price <laughs> that I'm asking for her, I still feel bad for asking it but people are like you don't understand what you make is one of a kind which just so people know i do have a patent on her i made yeah. sure so that nobody can replicate her because 
she took me two weeks. She was everything to me. When I was creating that witch, when I say I put in at a minimum of six hours a day on her, I literally did. Yeah. But to protect my creation, I felt I had to do something to keep people from being able to copyright her. So, mm -hmm. so you guys know, yes, I did do it. I kind of hinted around to it when I said, ah, you guys don't even think about trying to, I did that because that was my baby and it being my baby, you know, when you create something, it's your baby. Is it not crystal? And if someone tries That's to true. take like your chicken, if someone tried to go and replicate her and change your chicken, that's your baby. You're like, hold on a second. That is my, I came out with it first. I have pictures of starting from when she was like, no clothes on <laughs> to then a pair of underwear, <laughs> <laughs> then with a pair of socks. So I'm looking like, geez, I'm making her look a little funny right now. I got to hurry up and get some clothes on, <laughs> see her naked, you know? So <laughs> I'm done that journey with her next year. Will there be a new creation? I'll tell you guys, there is. And it is every year I'm going to create something new. And if someone does want something special created, I will do it in a heartbeat. But when I priced her, I had people rip on me because they said, Dawn, um, you're underpricing. Well, I'm not in the community that they understand the quality of it they know about it but a lot of people yeah. i interact with are people that are fiber mm -hmm. i'm not just fiber i'm not just a crocheter i don't just do patterns i don't just dye yarn i sculpt i do resin work yeah i am doing 3d printing so you guys if i see something i like it i'm gonna make it if I have an idea, if it's something new, like painting, I paint. I have bottles there now that I've got to finish off so I can sell the lamps. So just so you guys know, I feel guilty when I have to price things. I hate it. It bugs me and I feel bad. So what happened with Diana D's granddaughter? I don't know. Diana, you better message me. Welcome in, Alex. Hi, Alex. I forgot. Um, I seen you say hi. Hi, sweetheart. <laughs> um, welcome in, Chris. And she says a lot of stitch markers, and I've seen go for three for ten or a little higher. Um, but are they clay? That's the problem. Are they handcrafted? Because I've made. If you guys seen. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. If you seen okay. this Jack and Sally set that I made for D Ferguson, that's all clay. Her eyelashes are clay. Everything is clay. So when you're looking at basic stitch markers that has already been made versus someone who is designing and crafting it out of clay, the price ranges are a lot different. So I can do go buy a bulk pack of charms and put a few of my own beads because I make my own beads, put it on there. Yeah, I can sell three for 10. But when you're actually doing those ones like I did with the Jack and Sally, I charged more because I did a set, I did four, and I think it was like 45 for those four because of the intricate detail that I've done with them and each individual piece. So always look at it from the perspective of the type of material they're using compared to um, the others are using. So you got to, you really got to look at the difference between material time and what it is that's being created. And if it's all original work by the individual person, if that makes sense. Um, Diana D said, got to run my granddaughter fell at school and they think she might have broken her elbow oh lord have mercy so prayers for you and your granddaughter oh no hopefully hopefully she's not hurt and nothing got broke if she did then hopefully it's you know it, oh. they get to it quickly and you can
Katie says, price it, it, price it like it's your baby. Yeah, and like she did take up a lot of material, but I think right now because of where it's going and because of who is getting her, all I got to say is a lot of times when you know it's meant to be somewhere, you kind of let things go and not worry about it because you know that the person that is receiving what it is that you create is worth how they feel about it more so than the money sometimes. Yeah. But also what Kim is saying here, Dawn, just remember this. You can't take a loss on everything you make or you will not have any money left to purchase more materials to keep creating. <laughs> That's true. So. That is so true. The guilt part is something I deal with a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. So I try to not do that. But I like gifting because I'll be honest with you guys. When I see um, someone going through a lot, sometimes it's nice to surprise them and make them smile. So I'll just create and send something. And Janet says, I'd pay much more for handmade, especially when I know the artist, than I would mass produced. You're, pray, uh, you're paying for something that's handcrafted instead of made by a machine. And it's just like the same thing over and over and over, like a printer, you know? Yeah. It's like you print a picture of a painting by Monet. Yes. And you can make 50 of them and then sell it for very cheap, but then you get the actual painting Monet picture, you know, and it's gonna cost thousands of dollars, you know, it's, you're paying for one of a kind. And especially with clay, like the hooks, you're never gonna get the same swirls in the same no, spot. No, you're not. Exactly you're with not. the, now I tell you, Denise bought two hooks and they're done with the same clay, same colors, everything. They look completely different. The swirls are different. Really? So right there, you know. <laughs> oh, I got. Oh, I can't wait to see your work. Your all of your hooks, like the ones I've seen so far. I already told you I got to put it in order for because I got. I want to gift someone a couple people. That's all I've been doing. I don't know what's hmm. up with me. I think it's just one of those times I'm in. I've been bad. <laughs> Let's just put it this way, you guys. I've been so bad. I've been like reaching out to people and I, I've been, I know <coughs> I can do it, but sometimes I like other people, like all of you guys, when the things you guys you create, I fall in love with mm -hmm. it. Look, oh, okay, look, I'll admit. No, I won't admit. No, I, re I refuse to admit <laughs> that word. When I say gimme, it's because when I, I say that I'm truly in love with the work that someone has created. I'm not greedy. Mm -hmm. and I tell you guys, I'm a collector. Like, look, okay, so Miss P, she already made me a somebody and I, or Miss P, Miss C, and I it's <laughs> yarn. And I loved it. And so I asked her if she could make me another. <laughs> she made me my zebra. And this one, Aww. isn't he cute? So it's like one of those things when I see what you guys create and I, if I feel a connection with it, I'm going to want it. I'm sorry. It yeah. has to be in my possession. Or if I see it and I know exactly where it needs to be, who should receive it. I will literally purchase it and gift it to somebody because I know oh. where it needs to be. Like right now I've got Miss C busy. <laughs> poor Miss C. I got mm -hmm. to see that poor woman. I'm sorry, Miss C. I love you, but I love your, your little some bunnies and buddies. So I have to, 
I came to you because the stories always hits home. So both of these stories that you written for both of mine, yeah, it hit home. A lot of home. Because this one is my husband. So it's weird. Yes, gimme. Mine, <laughs> all mine. So you guys know it. Gimme, gimme, gimme. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what does your town look like, Alex? I bet you it's a town that is just something you can look at and then you start imagining different things you can create and characters. I bet you it's like that, isn't it? Is it Crystal? Um, It's been... I think the last time I lived there was in 94... <laughs> Oh, geez. it was it's like wild. eight. <laughs> and then I think I visited in 2001 or two. So, I mean, it's been quite a while since I've been there. But I remember um, little, little things about that town. But I don't remember too, too much anymore. <laughs> no, I, I like towns that have history and has a story to tell you like the more you guys get to know me you'll be like okay this is not who i expect it to be like the face don't match like the type of personality or who you are <laughs> so yeah. but don't judge like i tell everybody do not judge a book by its cover because a mm -hmm. lot of times those rough looking covers have the best stories mm -hmm. so never look at the front never look at the back read what's in between those two covers and you will see that is something that you probably be missing out on. So just because I have a mohawk, which it grew back really quick and I'm, I'm trying to grow back a piece that I clip. So you guys see it like stick off here. It's because I'm trying to grow it back. So just because you see a mohawk and I can be, you know, a little <laughs> goop. <laughs> And There's nothing that's wrong. kind of like what happened to me when I cut my bangs. I was like looking at myself on the live and I'm just like, I look like a 12 year old child and I'm 30 something. And I'm like, these need to grow out quick. Come on. <laughs> you look so I did not young. like it, but nobody left me because of my stupid bangs. <laughs> so. <laughs> How can they leave you? You're just so sweet. I wouldn't be able to let you go either. So a haircut. Oh. Here, you should have seen what how many haircuts I had one year. My husband's <laughs> looking at me like, is she going through like some kind of crisis? <laughs> I'm like, no, I'm just sick of it. I don't like it. I even literally went to an actual skin tight, and it had like you know designs all along here, and I wore it spiked. My husband's like, oh my god. Oh my gosh, what am I going to do? He goes, but I like it. It's cool. But to be honest with you, I, if you see us, you wouldn't think like, okay, he's really quiet, laid back, res, you know, reserved. She is just like out there crazy. Mm -hmm. And people like look at us as the most oddest couple, but you know what? The oddest couples are the best couples. That's what I think. Yeah. And I'm odd and I'm weird, so I don't care. <laughs> oh. It's Marie Simpson, yes, you need to make yourself something. I have even I've crocheted since 2019 and I have made stuff that I I wanted for myself and then it'd be like it don't fit me right, it don't look right on me or you know, I, I was planning to make it for me like a, a, a knit cardigan or a sweater or something. And then I ended up giving it to my grandmother for Christmas or, you know, halfway through, I'll be like, oh, I am going to give this to my mom or give this to my grandmother or whatever. <laughs> so, yes, do make yourself something. Okay, so I did. But... um it's sitting on the mannequin <laughs> and I won't wear it. So I tried, I, I, I made it, I looked at it, I liked it and it just doesn't feel like it belongs with me. So that's the other thing I'll, I'll be putting those up too, to get rid of them. I was just like, whatever, I don't care. 
<laughs> so I'm trying to make things to keep and wear for myself. So I'll be honest, I will wear these slippers. There, you guys, you can hold me to it. I am making slippers right now. I will wear them. I promise. That would be my mm -hmm. first make. I will wear. There. It's out there. Everybody can hold me to it now. <laughs> we will. <laughs> Kim G no. says, I completely get it. My hubby does woodwork, repairs furniture, mostly antiques. Right now, I am lining an old trunk for a customer. I have several chairs to repair the caning on, too. Oh, wow. Now, that's an art in its own, taking old antique stuff and bringing it back to its original the way it was, that is yeah. a total art in itself. Mm -hmm. Good, Yolanda. We can be strange together. Mm -hmm. Nancy says, I had a 98-year-old woman uh, teach me how to knit slippers. She gave up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why that is too funny. <laughs> you must have put her through a lot. Oh I know, but knitting is kind of harder to learn than crochet. Um, yeah. I, I looked at many videos and then I sat down and asked my grandmother how to teach me, you know, can, can you teach me how to, to knit? And cause I had already learned how to do the cast on the long tail cast on method. And I was like, uh, and then, so she sat down and taught me how to do the knit and the purl. Now she does it a little different. It's, um, she, she puts her, her needle in a different direction. Like instead of the knit stitch, you go in this way. Normally she was going in like this, like as if you were going to purl, but it still comes out, out the same. So wow. it's, it's a different for, it's called Russian style knitting or grandmother style knitting, something oh. kind of different. And she I just says it's my style because she taught herself kind of how to crochet. So, yeah. Nice. I want to learn Tunisian. So, yeah, I'm going to go down another rabbit hole. <laughs> Again. Oh, my gosh. And 3D printing. That's another rabbit hole. You guys don't even want to know how many rabbit holes I'm going down. But you'll see it all. I'll, I'll slowly post everything. Slowly. Yeah, normal is boring. I tell my kids, you know, would you prefer to be a custom house or a track, a track home? And they're like, well, what do you mean? I said, see, with a custom home, you're unique. You're different. You're one of a kind. With track homes, you're pretty much the same. The only difference is a little detail here or a little detail there or the color. But overall, mm -hmm. you step inside and it's the same basic track home with a custom home. Everything about it is unique. Everything about it is different. I said, do you want to be like everybody else? Or do you want to be different and be unique where you stand out? And they yeah. Said, yeah, I'll be a custom. I said, okay, don't worry about what the others say. Because I my, my husband is Nigerian. So if a lot of you guys don't know, I'm Canadian. I'm white. My husband is black. He's Nigerian. He's actually from Nigeria. So when you're raising children of a uh, mixed race or whatever, and you guys know everything that goes on, it, it's one of those things you got to kind of like, I can't speak exactly from how they feel, but I see it because I am married to someone of mm -hmm. another race. So you kind of go through it and you have to try to prep your kids up and say, don't worry about it. Let it, don't let them allow them to make their own judgment. It is not mm -hmm. your responsibility to have them change their mind. You just do you and you keep being you and that will change their mind. Oh, a trap house. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. I thought so too, Katie. <laughs> <laughs> no, no trap house. I, I promise. I promise there's no trap houses here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Track homes, track house. Yeah. Sorry, it's sometimes the Canadian accent. I still have it. I try to not let it out too much unless I start talking to family and friends from back home. Then you guys are yeah. <laughs> Cookie cut houses all, yeah.
There was some, oh yeah, Alex, he was going to be making something. You, Alex, that's awesome. Uh oh. Uh, welcome double. in, Dawn. <laughs> no, that's double trouble. Don't call her Dawn. That makes <laughs> double always into trouble. Yeah, she's trouble. You guys, she's trouble. I know. Now you guys got double Dawn, so I don't know if that's a good combination. <laughs> hey, but uh, <laughs> earlier we had two Dianas. So. Oh, <laughs> Diana D and then Diana Crane. Sometimes oh we have two Melanie's here. Sometimes we have two Sally's here. And now we got two Don's here. So <laughs> it's the worst when you have all of us. You got me, then you have Don P, you have Don Yarn Doll, then Don, I call her Don L, and then Don and Hella and Hella having fun. So when you have uh -huh. all of us in there and then someone saying hi, Don. I don't know if I should respond or if I should just say, is it a broad high dawn to all of us? So you guys, if if we're all in there in a live, you got to definitely say Dawn A or Dawn L or Dawn Hella or whatever so that mm -hmm. we know who you're talking about or to. Because it's a nightmare. I even get confused when you all are doing it to me. I was like, are they talking to me? Let me just yep. sit back anyways. Two Jens, Jens Hobby Nook and Jen Reeves. So oh, there's yes. two more oh. I'm thinking of now. Yeah. Um, Who else do we have a lot of? Uh, Don Laval. Yes, Don Laval. Yeah, I call her Don L. Hey, Don L. That way. Yeah. <laughs> Easy. But yeah, we have a lot of Dons. You guys better be careful because us Dons are taking over the YouTube streets. And there's another Don. Can't remember the name of her name. There's a couple of crystals also. Yes. Uh, there's um, crystals, crochet cubby hole. And then there's, um, of course, the infamous bag of day. But she's never come into my life. Um, and then I'm crystal. And then there's another another one, uh, divergent crafter. Crystal. Yes. So, yeah. Too many dawns. Too many crystals. That's why. I, I, but I'm telling you, the dons are taking over. <laughs> Mine's the only one with the K. <laughs> That's what I like because it makes it easier. So if like, you're in there, I'm like, okay, not a problem, crystal. <laughs> and then everybody else, I'm like, uh, have to type it all out. I'm like, no, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna abbreviate everybody. There's oh. two Nancys also. We have uh, too old to care, who is Nancy, and then we also have Nancy Mac. Nancy McDonald. Oh, so, don't forget there's another Nancy. set. She's got yarn too. Oh it's yeah, she's Nancy. got yarn too, Nancy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it looks like too old to care, Nancy. She's leaving. Feed her mom. Aww. Well, yes, we only got uh, Yolanda. Yep, one Yolanda, and one Soila. Yeah, one Zoila. One Gwen that I know of. Exactly. So, one Alex, one yeah. Lori, uh, spelled that way, I mean. Um, I don't well. want another Zoila, and I don't want another Yolanda or another Gwen. I, I like my three <laughs> right there. No more. We can't have other ones trying to step in on the originals, so. You guys are our OGs. We can't have any others coming in. Yeah. Crystal yeah. uh, Joyous Creations. Oh, that's cool, Alex. One Johanna. Yes. See? I'll, I'll put fair warning. Don't any other ones come back. <laughs> Thank you, Katie. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, scratch those two. There you go. <laughs> quack, 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 quack. I'm sure you wanted the cluck and I did the wrong ones anyway. <laughs> well, you got three for that one. There's only one yarny chicken crazy cat lady. Yes, there is. Me. <laughs> when and I, I first thought of that name, I wanted something different, discernible from everybody else. And I'm thinking, 
what could I do that's unique? And I'm like, I have chickens. I love my cats and I love yarn. And I'm like, and I put it all together. Yarn, I love it. Yarn person. So I came up with yarny chicken. And then I said, well, I'm a, I'm a cat crazy lady. So how about we do crazy cat lady? You know, crazy about cats. And then eventually I designed Sunny the Happy Hen and I took the comma out of my name in between the Yarny space. There was a comma there, chicken. And so it became the Yarny Chicken and Crazy I Cat Lady. It. So now my chicken, Sunny. <laughs> I love it. Sally. Thank you. I say youthful and timeless. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, it's not my birthday. I'm, who are you talking about, Alice? What do you mean, love you all? Even Don A. What are you trying to say, Don P? Don't forget, I got your number. I even have your address. And keep in mind, there's going to be a trip coming the new year. Oh. So you better be careful, girlfriend. I read that wrong. What do you say? I read that wrong. He oh. goes, oh, on my birthday. I thought he was saying happy birthday to me. And I'm like, it's not my birthday. I read that wrong. I don't happy birthday anymore. I say I'm youthful and timeless. So you don't, need, you don't typically have a birthday anymore. Okay. <laughs> when is your way. birthday, Alex? Uh, thank you, uh, Mima D. Oh my God. Well, you'll answer when I show up on your doorstep, Dawn. So don't worry, I got you. Got your address. <laughs> oh, poor Kirsten. Uh, she says, in my family, we have me, Kirsten, and then we have a Kristen. So I am never called the right name. <laughs> I know that feeling. I know that feeling. My mom calls me my brother's name, my sister's name, my daughter's name, my son's name. I'm like, mom, <laughs> I'm the only one. And she was like, oh, all you kids are driving me crazy. I was like, how am I driving you crazy? Oh, just I'll call you all of you guys until I get the right name. I said, okay, mom. <laughs> and I do it just to frustrate her to get her going to start saying everybody's name till she gets it right and she just shakes her head I know what you're up to <clears throat> oh, I'm all right uh, I got my battery only has 12 percent so uh, and it doesn't charge when I plug it in so we might have to wrap this up pretty soon plus we're at a an hour and 48 minutes in um Woo. but we're gonna do the entry giveaway so make sure you're up to date um and this is the last live before we draw the winner there's still time to get a comment in under the giveaway video um so if you haven't entered a comment make sure you do for uh november's giveaway and kirsten i did see that you commented yesterday or today and you're already written down. I gotta write up the entry. Um, Did I welcome um, Paula Mulford? <laughs> welcome. Oh, hi, Paula. I didn't see uh, if I even. I don't know. I don't. I've been commenting on videos and stuff. I've been so like trying to get caught up on everybody. You wanted to know if you you entered? Yeah. Let me bring up the comment section in here. I have a section for that I write down. I have a section for the comments and then a section for all the super chats and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, that's what I want. Um, too. All right. I never know. I never know what I do because I'm typing on everybody's just a comment to say hi, especially about like videos. I don't have you under the comment section. Hmm. I got to find myself. Shh. 
Sharon. Hi, Sharon, my sweetheart. Yeah, I know. I can't believe it's the end of November already. But next month is the members giveaway. So, oh, welcome back, Sharon. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta figure out what. I know I was watching it. Now I gotta go back and find the video. I gotta watch again. I'm terrible. Good. Thank you, Dawn. <laughs> you have to say thank you. Don't worry. <laughs> I do it anyway, so thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Is it for that uh, semi-finalist winner crystal collab? No, it's not that one. No, 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 no. Um, you know what? Hold on one second. Oh, how is that birthday angels going? Um, there's quite a few entries so far. Wow. Oh, there it is. All right, let's giveaway. see. It, it might be this link for November's giveaway. I'm not 100% sure. I'm hoping I copied it right out of night, night bot. Cause it should have dropped the link every so often for the, the giveaway, but I don't know. Oh yeah. I think that one is it. I watched it. I figured I commented. Oh, thank you, Janet. I, I was, I, I wasn't sure how the makeup would look and that purple, that purple lipstick I wore. Oh my God. I could not get it off. <laughs> it stayed on there for like an hour. Oh my! And I had to literally scrub it off. My lips were so red; it was crazy. You're like, I'm not doing that color again. Nope. I'm <laughs> no, I did. I said that. I said I'm never putting that one on again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Paula Mulford, let me look. No, Paula, you haven't entered a comment, so you need to also. Janet. Yes, Janet, you did enter. I have you checked off here. Diana, I, yes, I, I got you. Because it says Diana in parentheses, it says Crane. Yeah, you have to use the keyword, Alex, if you want to be entered. And I don't think you did. You just commented. You're welcome, Diana. Jen's Hobby Nook. Yes, Jen H. Nook is how I have you on here. So, yes. I got you. <laughs> Sometimes when I write everybody's names, I I know who they are, but like like uh, Jen's hobby nook, I put Jen J E N N S H and then nook because I know exactly who you are. Uh, creative, you all know who that is. These creative hands crochet. Instead of writing the whole channel name out, I just put certain ones, so I know exactly who's who. So, have I entered? Okay, let me let me check. Sometimes I list you as me, Ma D. I don't know if you see me now, but I did the November. I'm always trying to go and watch all of your guys' videos. I enjoy it actually. To be honest with you, sitting there watching because I get to see new things. That lizard assembly was cool. No, uh, 
Don P, I don't have you down, so make sure you go and and uh, enter it too. All right. I, I don't know if I came through yet, but I did go on it. So hopefully, hopefully, yep. Yeah, Alex, you have to go watch the video from start to finish to find the keyword. New comment on November's giveaway. I got an email notification. Truly amazing and Alex. But you didn't use the keyword, Alex. Well, there's not a keyword. I think there's a phrase this time you have to answer or a question, I mean. Welcome in, truly amazing. I will write anyone's names down that left the comment as an entry after the live. If you see a heart, that means you're you're in there. I've written your name done down. <laughs> what I do for all my entries is if it's got a check mark next to it, then I've already written up the, the entry. Um, if it's a comment under a video, if you see a heart, that means your name has been written down. And I got it. You're very welcome. All right. Uh, Look at that. We hit on. Oh, thank you, truly. Hours. Woo -woo. I know. <laughs> Was your last one this? Which month? luckily, uh, restream does not limit your hours. Oh. So I mean, we can go, however long. But all right. I don't think I could sit here for that long. Yeah. And, <laughs> you know, like six hour live. No, I couldn't do it. Uh, all I gotta say is I'd probably have to get up three or four times. <laughs> My three hour was, thank goodness I was getting up and moving and grabbing things. So that was a good thing. Yeah. All right. Let's do the entry giveaway. I got to get back to the other section. Hold on. Here we go. Alrighty, you know what? And I was just gonna do two people. I think I'm gonna do four since this is the last live. I'll pick four. Ah. So we'll do four people. Um. Oh, that went back on top chat. Hold on. Okay, I got Nightbot open. Um, trying to think. Okay. All right. So our keyword for today is going to be tree. T-R-E-E. -E. Tree? Oh, hold on. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'm out of there. I got to get back. Where am Bye, I? Bye, Katie. Much love to you also. Have a good day. I don't know if I, I'm trying to get it to pull up. All right. Let's see how quick this uh, pops up. Wow, it popped up really quick, all of them like that. <laughs> <laughs> We got 21 eligible so far. We got 32 here. So one's my computer. One is a different device from Dawn. So we got 22. Okay, I got Darcia. So we got 23. Oh, you renewed it, Paula. Well, thank you so much. Nancy, enter the keyword tree. We're fixing to do the entry giveaway. We got 25.
come on. What I missed. <laughs> too old to care now, too. What I missed. <laughs> Girl, get it in there. Hurry up, tree. There she goes. 26. I think everybody is counted except for Katie because she just left. <laughs> um, oh, Darcy is in ads again. <laughs> I know it keeps doing the ads. That is just weird. It's popping up a lot of ads. Four ads. Janet got four. Four ads in two hours. That's. I mean, I'm I'm happy they're showing ads. Um, cause it will give me a little bit of revenue if y'all watch them. If y'all don't, then it don't help. But I mean, it's, it's during a lot, it's just ridiculous. I've never had them during the actual live when it's going. That's, it's usually on a replay. Maybe it's because I'm using restream. I don't know. All right. So we are still sitting at 26. Um, they're short. Well, that's good um all right so these are the eligible uh entries too old to care adele alex angela carl ann carla d ferguson darcia don aaron diana dudley ganey joe grandma wanda janet bales and janet dixon two more doubles there janet uh Jen, hobby <laughs> jessica J. Kim G, Kirsten, Marie, Mima D, Paula, Sally, S, Truly Amazing, Yolanda, and Soila. And I thought it j jumped. Oh, Tammy Twyford's in here, but she hasn't entered yet. Oh, Janet, don't get them. She's on the TV. I huh. wish. Trish, Thris, Thris, put in tree. Hurry. We're about to do a draw. Come on, girl. There's Yolanda. Type tree. There, it's going. It got, uh, Thris is now marked as eligible and, uh, who else just came in? <laughs> I gotta scroll back up. Um, uh, Tammy Twyford. She good. would be in the F. Flower crochet is marked as eligible. So we got 28 now. So, all righty. Here we go. Good luck, everybody. Oh, Sharon's still here. Sharon, type it. Uh, type it. Tree, Sharon. Not hearts. Tree. <laughs> Please. If you if you want a chance in the the uh, monthly uh, drawing, it's it's for an entry into the drawing. You got to do it. You've been lucky. Maybe I've been rubbing all my luck off on everybody. <laughs> I don't have no luck. Whatever luck I get, I like to give away. Oh wow. Okay, Adele. I knew they were changing up the ads, but I thought they were, that was just on uh, recorded videos. I didn't know lives too. Strange. They really messing with, with different stuff. All right, I'm gonna give it about 10 more seconds in case she's lagging, so. Maybe she don't want to enter. I don't know. Oh, she's in her knitting group. Hold on. Oh. Cause she Maybe it's it's muted. Yeah. Maybe she can't hear us, but everybody's telling her in the chat to, to enter the keyword. <clears throat> All right. Well, it will still include it if, you know, because I'm going to draw four different names. So if she happens to enter after that, it'll end up include her. 
Yeah, she may not be reading the chat. Yeah. All right, everyone. Good luck. Here we go. The first one, Jessica Johnson. Congratulations, Jessica. Good luck. It's the second one. Nancy, too old to care. Yay, congratulations. WP office, what's new? Check it out. No, it just popped up a thing on my screen. <laughs> ah, okay. Good luck for the third one. Diana Crane. Congratulations. <laughs> Good luck on this one, the last one. Here we go. Yolanda Perkins. Yolanda, you are another lucky one. I need that uh, shoe that you got. That horseshoe, <laughs> pass it over. You and Sally, I need it. Oh, I never even got a chance to say hi to Dee Ferguson. Hi, sweetheart. I hope you still like your stitch markers. Congratulations, you lucky four. <clears throat> oh, my goodness. Okay, hold on. Ah, I have 1% on my phone. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh my gosh. Get in there. It is definitely gonna die. <laughs> okay, um, I'm bird, so I'm afraid it will go dead. So I am gonna have to stop it live. I am so sorry. I should have plugged it in earlier, but I don't want to agree because when it's just sitting at the percentage and it don't charge that's what it does when i plug it in. i'm using it oh, no. and i've had them get ruined that way so um, thank you everybody for being with me and dawn for her first live. i i had a really good time and i am so happy you have joined the lineup dawn and would Anytime. you like to say <laughs> i just want to say thank you and I will always join anytime that you want me here or I don't mind. I enjoy it. And, you know, I will always be willing to share anything, any ideas. So thank you so much for having me here. And thank you everybody for the support. You are thank most you. welcome. Thank you, everybody. I hope y'all have a wonderful day. Take, and we will see you next time. Bye, everybody.